Uh, hello again, uh, DR drivers. Uh, as, as you know that you're hauling uh, brokers trailers, right? You're not having like a one solid trailer all the time. So uh, you already watched the video that about uh, PTI. So please make sure that you, whenever you uh, pick up the brokers, any other brokers trailer uh, as a power only, make sure you have to check all the lights, okay? and documentation and make sure all lights are working no air leaks okay and uh, all tires have to meet the DOT regulations and rules and then now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna share the how to move axle front and back so in that case you can uh, measure your uh, axle uh, at the, I mean truck scale so uh, if you have more than 35 or 30,000 pounds please you have to check your axle, I mean, at the scale. This is really important. Whenever you get pulled over at the way station more than 34,000 pounds, means that you will get a ticket on that. And that ticket will might go to your history. And it will cause a lot of, uh, uh, you know, getting, you know, insurance price higher and higher for you. And to get, uh, you know, hired with, an, uh, with any other company is going to be hard for you with this kind of tickets. That's why make sure whenever you have a load more than 30 or 35,000 pounds, please, and just go to scale and get scaled and then your trailer axle have to be 34, drive axle have to be 34,000 pounds and maximum your steer axle have to be uh, 12,000 pounds all together have to be maximum of 80,000 pounds truck and trailer with the load. So uh, now I'm going to share uh, my experience how you can change your, uh, how you can move your tandems. So uh, again, one more thing, uh, if you go, if you want to go to the uh, California to any other strict uh, states, so your trailer tandem cannot go all the way back and have to be more front than any other states. And you have to uh, scale it before you start the trip. If your trailer axle is more back, if you get stopped at the Cal in, in California way station, you might get a, a really big ticket that, you know, your uh, trailer tandem is not meeting uh, of California DOT rules and regulations and what they do is they will tell you that call any other company to come to waste station and to reload the trailer okay to unload it and load it properly though you cannot move anywhere and you can lose a lot of money over there that's why be ready for that and just uh, be careful scale it and make sure you uh, your trailer axle is more front than any other states in California. So uh, in order to move the tandem, the, the main important thing is uh, you have to fill up the uh, trailer tandem, I mean trailer air, air tank with full of air, 125 at least. Without air, believe me, you cannot move tandems at all. Most of the drivers, they make a mistake because you know they, they forget to build the air uh, to the a trailer and they will be having hard time to move tandems without air you cannot move tandem at all so first of all I'm gonna show you right now so uh, you have to start your truck and then uh, you have to press this red button you have to press this red button and that means that means air is flowing to your trailer if there is no air in the trailer, again, you cannot move your tandem. So you, you have to press this one and, and wait until air builds inside of the uh, air tank and all air system of the trailer. So you can give more gas. It can speed up the fuel in the air. And the trailer air tank have to be full and then you can move your uh, tandem. Now it's uh, about to reach 125 PSI, okay, which is uh, enough for us. And now what we're gonna do, if this red button is inside, you cannot control the pin of the tandem. 
So you have to pull this one up and then you're gonna go back, okay? You're gonna go back and then uh, there is a pin of the uh, tandem right here. Right here. So, yep, whenever you uh, pull it, so all pins have to be inside right here one two both pin inside right now so if it's not inside if it's still outside it's sticking over there that's fine it means that that you know metal is really hardly uh, touching that pin and then it cannot go that is, is not allowing go inside right that's okay so if it's still outside what we're gonna do is just move forward and back easily and then this this pin will go inside okay and then we can move back and forth of our tandem so uh, again you're gonna check uh, till what place the loader forklift loader loaded your load let's say if your load is right here if your load inside ends right here well, how you count okay uh, one two three four five six inside there's the same uh, frames attaching right here so you can count it seven if your load ending right here inside this is a perfect place that you have to uh, put your I mean uh, what do you call it? like an axle right here at the end of the trailer tire and at the end of the load perfectly here Again, if your load and more than 35, 40,000 pounds and the load inside was ended right here, right? So your trailer axle have to be exactly right here. This place have to be exactly this place. In that case, your uh, weight will be uh, normal in the most time. But again, the scale is more uh, proper. We have to trust the scale. The scale is more easy way, but uh, if you don't find any scale and then there's a weigh station, so you can just uh, put that way. So whenever load is ends, axle have to be there. Right now, all pins are inside. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna easily uh, try to move uh, truck front, that axle go a little bit back. Let's try that. Now without touching anything, I will push the uh, yellow button, which is a uh, truck parking, and I will start moving forward very easily. I'm start moving uh, easily to the front that you can see we moved a little bit to the front. So uh, I'm gonna apply the tractor brake and I'm gonna go back check, make sure uh, we reached at that place that we targeted in the beginning so yep we wanted to we wanted this axle come straight in this line and we almost there we almost there and but there is no holes I, any 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 holes we cannot see right so what we're gonna do is either either we can push this one inside because all right, either we can push inside, that means uh, we are letting the pins out, but pins is not gonna out because there's no, uh, you know, like hole over there. And if we go front a little bit, and the pins will come out. So either we can push inside, or either we can uh, push the red button inside. This is the same thing together. So most of the time I just do press the red button inside. Right now, uh, all right, I'm going to set it up and now I'm going to drive forward a little bit and then you will see, you will hear that uh, little kind of, uh, that whenever it pins out, you will hear a voice, but you have to drive very slowly, right here. You can see that. And now, we definitely moved our uh, tandem 
and then uh, we can make sure that and we can uh, go back to scale now we change uh, we moved our tandem everything looks good and now we double check make sure all pins are out okay okay great pins are out this pins also out and our the place that we measured and that's it so this is how we change the um, tandem this is how we change the tandem now we we are done uh, thanks so much for your time and we'll go ahead and do another lesson